The Children's Defense Fund has long fought to ensure every child in America a healthy start, recognizing that health affects every aspect of a child's life, their ability to grow, learn, play, and succeed. We have worked for many years to ensure all children access to affordable, comprehensive health coverage in a system that is easy to get and easy to keep for all children in our country. And the good news, Kathleen, is that we have made tremendous progress in covering children. In fact, since the creation of the Children's Health Insurance Program, or CHIP as it's commonly known in 1997, the percentage of uninsured children has dropped by half. Um, and the rate of uninsured children is at a record low. We want to continue this momentum. We want to continue to move forward. But today there is great threat to funding for this very successful bipartisan program that remains a critical source of coverage for more than 8 million of our children. These are children in low and middle income, working families. And even in this post-affordable care act world, the children's health insurance program remains a critical piece of the health insurance puzzle. Unless Congress takes action this year, there will be no new funding for the children's health insurance program after next September. And if there's no new funding for CHIP after next September, as many as two million children could lose their health insurance altogether. And millions more would end up paying significantly more money for fewer benefits. Uh, all of these children would be worse off than they are today. So we need your help today to ensure CHIP continues to be the strong and reliable source of health coverage our children depend on. States are already trying to put their budgets together for next year, and they are acting without knowing whether or not they will have federal dollars to cover children in their CHIP program, or whether they're going to have to find alternative sources of coverage for children, or whether these children are going, are going to go uninsured. So what's the bottom line? Here's what we need to do. Congress must continue funding for CHIP for at least four more years, or until it can be demonstrated that the new health insurance marketplaces can provide children coverage that is as comprehensive and as affordable as CHIP is today. Failure to provide funding for CHIP would be a huge step backwards for children. So, so please, act now. Let's stand our ground for children. children.